All right, we are back. This is Monterey on Tonight. My name is Gary Morris. I'm here every Sunday night with a co-host and guest. And this show is all about having some fun. And this gentleman that just sat down next to me here, I can tell already he and I are going to be very close friends. And we're going to have fun. Uh, Gary, I look forward to that. <laughs> Absolutely. This is Edward, not Ed, Edward King. And if that sounds familiar, the lady that was sitting in that chair just a little bit ago, well, they're together, they're husband and wife. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, I love when Wendy does that. She gets someone that's connected, you know, and you guys are connected. You're married. Edward has a one of the most fascinating resumes, if you want to call it a resume, a bio that I have read. And what popped up really quickly is that he used to do a radio show on iHeart for years. Power Talk Radio locally. Power Talk locally and Power yeah. Talk through their network. Yeah. And Edward, tell me now, what kind of radio show did you do? Well, locally, you would have seen us on Tuesdays and on Fridays and Saturdays, morning and Saturdays, afternoons, and primarily the two-hour show, which was the block of time in the afternoon, was interviewing individuals uh, that were either authors, environmentalists, economists, all of national or international acclaim. Now, did they come into the studio or did you do it on phone? Well, we did it a couple of different ways. Um, when I interviewed a, a Senator Rand Paul, okay. we were in Las Vegas. Okay. Um, so I, you traveled doing the show too? At times when I needed to. Okay. So I've been in Washington, D.C. and interviewed people. Um, a lot of times we had people in our studio. Uh, originally, our studio was in the iHeart Radio building. Okay. Then COVID happened. Ah, right. right and then right. iHeart across the country kicked everybody out of the radio. They didn't watch you in the studio. Uh, studios. Yeah. So I built one in at the home? back at the back end of the house. There you go. And had it uh, professionally designed. So it's acoustic treatments and so we you, could. It's we a could, radio station in your home. It was, and yeah. we would interview up to f four mics. So there were times where we had four or five people uh -huh. being interviewed along with sometimes we had to do it over the Internet, over the air. Did you have a producer? Did someone I help did. you put it all I together? I did. I yeah. had um, a producer that would run the equipment during the radio interviews and the shows and then handle in terms of disseminating it to the, all the radio stations. And so the only thing I did was the actual interviews, the development of the uh, people to interview. And that was a lot of work because, you know, it'd be four oh, weeks yeah. down, six weeks yeah. down the road. Now, here's the million dollar question, Mr. Edward King. Yeah. Who owns the rights to all your shows? I do. Ah, smart man. Because all of those shows, every bit of that content now is sitting someplace yep. in the cloud. And what you and I have to do is we have to figure out how we're going to get all of those shows that you... You said four years? Um, 2018 through 2023. So three, over 3,500 shows. Oh, my goodness gracious. You see now, this little mind starts going and talking about that's valuable content. Valuable, valuable content. And that content should now be out there again. Okay, so I'm going to help you do that. Well, there was really some excellent interviews. I mean, and some, you said Rand Paul. Uh, you went to Vegas to, yeah. to interview Steve, him. Steve Forbes. Steve Forbes. Him. Yeah. See that? But also some really awesome people here in your Monterey area um, that were very interesting guests. Well, listen, uh, you know... I first said to uh, Edward when he came in the studio, did you do podcasts? He said, no, I did a radio show. Yeah. And that's to me. I mean, everybody now is doing a podcast, podcast, podcast. You know. that's, that was my resistant point because, yeah. you know, people s so often assume that, oh, you're doing a podcast. A podcast. So you're sitting by yourself, yeah. recording yourself. Right. And and publishing and producing yourself. Yeah. It's, and it's no, it's you were, not the you same. were, if you were with iHeart Media. I mean, that's let's face it, that's big. 
Well, it's huge. It, it started out small. I mean, it, well, it's, you started it, out with an idea. You said the manager of the station kind of they talked you into doing, encouraged you into doing it. Doing, yeah. yeah. And that's how it happened. That's how it happened. But, you know, when I read this about you, I mean, you're a CPA, um, Cisco Certified Network Associate. Um, You've got network certifications. Uh, Prior to Alliance Career Train Solutions, you worked as an accountant and finance director, VP of finance, chief financial officer, and chief executive officer. Yeah. Goodness gracious. And I take it now, you are not retired. I'm never going to retire. Ah, That's see why. that? Uh, because I enjoy what I do, and I only do if I enjoy it. You only do it if you... That's like me. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I'm not going to do this unless I enjoy doing it, right. and I love it. Right. Well, it was the reason why we started Alliance Crew Training Solutions, or schools, depending on the two different halves. Because when we opened up the school in 2014... The people that we serviced, that we reached out to, was the unemployed, the underserved, and the disadvantaged. And that was in the career training side. And the joy of it was we would provide four to six month programs that was full time, Monday through Friday, that was limited, what they call cohort. Everybody starts together, ends together. Mm -hmm. And they would go through it. We had IT program, which was the Uh, CCNA, the Cisco and so forth certifications. We had graduates go to work for Apple and Google and other places like that. We had uh, accounting and the it got to the point where the accounting production and graduates had such a good reputation Robert Half hired 100% of everybody that graduated. But again they were very small classes. 8 people, 10 people, 14 people. And uh, they would have to go full-time Monday through Friday, four months to six months. And we put in over 550 graduates into sustainable income. Because, again, these people were unemployed, maybe with no college career experience and so forth. And it was at no cost to them. Wow. So their That's their beautiful. investment was their time. That's beautiful. So it, it was like, after all my years of working in business, it was my give back to the community. You're and, doing a ministry. And we, we were fortunate. Yeah. We were very lucky. The doors were open, and we found funding, and, and we helped on all of that as well. It says here, CEO Alliance Career Training Solutions and host Business Sense Radio. Yeah, BCR. BCR. Yeah. So there's websites here. Is there a uh, a bio page, Dylan, on uh, Edward King in your computer so we can direct people to how they find him at AllianceCareerTraining.com? Do you have that in the computer? I have the website. Website? Okay, there it is, folks. There's the, um, now that's the corporate training. That's the corporate training. Yes. Is this the wrong one? No, it's the right one. Uh, They're all all right because we have the schools... uh, which we'll, we haven't talked about closing. Right. Okay. The Biden administration cut off funding. They did. For, because they wanted people to stay on welfare. Oh. And which is more controllable. And uh. then in terms of this, this is for our corporate clients. And then how about uh, business businesssenseradio.com? Radio. That, Can you that, go to that one? Uh, that website is still. Dylan, business still sense. Operating. We quit doing the radio show in, in October. Well, I'm That's sad to hear that you quit doing the radio show, but I'm going to help you get every one of those shows into the cloud so people can go online and listen to all of the content that you have. See, we what had, I decided had, to do yeah. when I started doing this show, because I have the ability to do it, is to loop these shows. Yeah. So no matter, I mean, you're going to be on tonight. You're on one time. But it's not just tonight that you're going to be on. You're going to be on again and again uh-huh. and again and again and again. I mean, at, at nauseum. In fact, I put it in, in my will that these shows, <laughs> after you, I'm Derek. gone to the other side, are still going to be on television. Okay, so I know you're interviewing me, but I'm going to ask you a question. Go ahead. Because I know why I started in the radio, because I was pushed into it. Pushed. And never thought that I would do it and then fell in love with it. There you go. See that? So there's that. How did you get into this? Ah, good question. Because it's amazing to sit here in your studio and know where you're transmitting your show, your 
I, weekly, I, your years of, I, I, but you didn't fell start, in love. You weren't born to be no, a TV. No, no, I wasn't. But I fell in love at a very early age with the medium mm -hmm. of radio and TV. I was 11 years old. Okay. And that's how I fell in love with this business as a kid. And uh, I told your your wife earlier that my love was to be a TV game show host. Okay. So I as that. I as I was getting older, um, and I had started out locally in the Fresno market because Fresno was home, Edward. I started out being the Dick Clark of Fresno, doing a dance party TV show. I love it. And I thought I wanted to go down to LA and be a game show host. Yeah. And I went down and I talked to an agent, and the agent talked me out of going into the business. Oh wow! Because he asked me a question that I couldn't answer. He said, how old are you? I said, I'm 22. Where do you want to be when you're 40? And he made me think about where I was going to be when I was 40 if I was going to be a game show host. Yeah. And it really, when I thought, the more and more I thought about it, oh, here was the key question. Do you want to work for somebody else or do you want to work for yourself? Mm -hmm. And my father was an entrepreneur. He was a, a farmer, you know, self-made guy. And I thought, yeah, I don't know whether I want to have a boss. I think I want to work for myself. Yeah. And that's kind of what changed things. So I went back and I started selling my father's produce. And mm -hmm. pretty soon I had my own company. And um, see, no, he did, he did end up interviewing me. Okay. So <laughs> produce? Produce to? Now, produce to television. So how's that, that happen? That's a launch. That's a jump. That's a big jump. And yeah. you know how it happened? Yeah. Uh, my wife said to me after we were married six months, first wife, she said, what are you going to do every day when you get up in the morning and go to work? You're miserable now doing what you're doing. Okay. And I said, well, I, I w I'd like to be back on television. She said, well, do you want to be on TV? I said, no, I want to own a TV station. Wow. And so that's how that all happened. Wow. It's a long story, but I'm going to let you interview me some night. <laughs> that, now that's that's a good story. Put me on your radio and, show. Let's crank it up again. Yeah, Fresno, um, enormous city, um, growing and continuing to evolve. And now you're here in Monterey. I'm right? here in Monterey yeah. because of my mom. My mom uh, retired after my dad passed in Carmel. Mm -hmm. I came to be near her in her last years and fell in love with the peninsula and said, I'm not going back. Yeah. I'm going to stay here. We still have the company in Fresno mm -hmm. and still have television stations and uh, a nice group of stations. We have the Me TV affiliate here. So okay. that station has a lot of seniors watching because it's all the old shows. Okay. And uh, But what, look, we're going to spend some time together and I want to get your radio shows back on the air. There it is. Tune in to BCR Radio. Now, right now, is there a way for us to go to any website and hear any of the shows? Do you have anything working right See, now? they're still on. They're still on. Yeah. So we can go to listen to these shows on the internet. Yeah. And, and there's a lot more episodes than what you see see there. How but, many uh, are uh, loaded on the uh, website? Well, <clears throat> quite a few. Uh, I wasn't, I, I would pass those radio programs on to uh, the individuals uh, to I had a technician that was uploading all of these. Things. Yes. So how long were the shows? Uh, this batch of shows we only put up the two hour program. Two hour shows. Yeah, because okay. we were on Tuesday four times, Friday four times, Saturday twice. Now, when I would go online, Edward, to listen to one of these shows, now yes. are the commercials from the old shows still embedded in these shows? Um, okay, so. All of those shows were, um, the commercials are not in there. They're not. So it just goes it's from segment much, to segment to segment. Yeah, we did fill in the blanks with a Alliance Career Training okay. spot, 30-second spot, just to fill the gap. Because, you know, I would start out by saying, we're breaking for our sponsors, break, we'll be yeah. back. Like I do. So I'm going to take a break at 7 o'clock here for word from our sponsors. Yeah, so that sponsor, we would just dish them out and plug in ours. So. Well, we're, we're going to spend some time together because... With what this man has accomplished with all those shows, it's a shame that you all don't know about them and that you can't reach out and listen to them because, my goodness, it's just a wealth of knowledge. 
they can find us on bcrradio.com. bcrradio.com. Yeah. Go there. I know my oh, good they friend. Well. You got yes, a Spotify? They're on Spotify. Oh, and Spotify on, as well. Oh, boy, you've yeah. got good distribution. They're on something else, too. Wow, I, that's great. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you who I know that's watching this show over in Fresno. My good buddy, Bob Urich. We were, watching this show tonight, and I know Bob is going to be enticed by this. We were on the radio program, uh, one of the radio stations in Fresno. You were, yeah, Power yeah. Talk, probably. Yeah, the Power Talk. Power Talk, yeah, yeah that's local Fresno right. station. That's the station that Rush Limbaugh used to be on in Fresno. That's and, that's uh, the one we always we always followed him around. Yeah, well, you had a good lead in. <laughs> yeah, he a was great awesome. lead in. Hey, yeah. this has been so much fun. I I just can't begin to tell you. How much I've enjoyed meeting this man tonight for the very first time. Yeah, Gary. And it's you know nice what? Sometimes you, we have connections in this world, and yeah. we've got a connection, and we're going to explore that. And we're going to have him back, because the next time he comes on, he's going to tell you where he's on the radio again. And I'm going to make it happen. That'd I don't know fun. how, but I will. No, actually, um, when I started learning about you, I was very inspired by what you're doing, because, you know... It's kind of grassroots. It's what lift it yourself is. up from the bootstraps. Yeah. And, you know, in essence, it's like standing against the wave of corporate media. There's no corporate here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just me. No, it's more than you. <laughs> well, you, thank you, you so much, up. Edward. Thank you very much. Thank Karen. you for tonight. Real really. pleasure to Honestly, meet you. Honestly, so much. Thank you. We're going to get back to more music, uh, and then we're going to take our break. We're going to bring uh, our co-host julie back in julie king now does that sound familiar <laughs> uh, she's going to be back in here and then we're going to take our seven o'clock break but here's more music now from heart <laughs> 